Short messaging service, or SMS, is one of the world's most popular forms of communication, with over 7.5 trillion messages sent per year through mobile phones. However, a growing problem has plagued SMS users, the rise of unsolicited and unwanted messages from commercial or promotional accounts, also known as SMS spam. Up to 30% of all SMS messages sent per year are spam messages, increasing costs for users, threatening security, and damaging mobile providers' brands. The goal of our data mining project is to evaluate the feasibility of a data-driven spam message filter. This model should be fast and accurate, intercepting a high proportion of spam messages while allowing non-spam messages through. We have three steps to achieve our goal. First is to examine and featureize this data. The dataset we have contains 5,574 text messages that are pre-classified as spam and non-spam. Among them, 4,827 are classified as ham, which means non-spam messages, and 747 are spam messages. We analyzed the frequency of each word in our dataset and generated word clouds that can show us which words are most common in spam and ham messages. We can see that conversational terms like contractions, when, and do are more likely to show up in a ham than other terms. For spam messages, terms like call, now, and free are top words, highlighting their promotional nature. We continued to featureize the data based on the type of n-gram. We split each SMS into individual words or sets of words, each being a separate attribute. There are three types of weights for each word term. Binary, which is whether a word appears or not. Term frequency, which emphasizes how many times a word appears in an SMS. And term frequency times inverse document frequency, or TD, TF-IDF, emphasizing rare words that don't appear frequently in the whole set of SMS. We also explored two additional ways for featureization. Because, each, because splitting each SMS into individual words makes our data highly dimensional and potentially costly to model, the first strategy is to remove features or terms that are rarely or commonly found in our messages. These terms are non-significant for training our filter model. Another featureization technique is custom feature engineering searching within the SMS text for specific patterns. Our custom features show that spam tend to have more promotionally related elements, like phone numbers or currency symbols. And they are also usually longer than ham messages, with the majority pushing up against the 140 character limit. Flagging and calculating these patterns can help us identify message type. Step two is to train models using machine learning knowledge. Given the fact that our data is highly dimensional and the output label is binary, we propose four types of models that could potentially fit our data very well. These are naive Bayes, support vector machine, logistic regression, and random forest. They all have their own advantages and disadvantages that might affect the result of our filter. By training these models and then comparing their results, we can include one model that can best achieve our goal. Step three is to evaluate the results of these four models. We evaluated our models using two main dimensions, true positive rate, which is the percentage of actual spam messages accurately intercepted, and false positive rate, which is the percentage of actual non-spam messages that were incorrectly classified as spam. The ROC curve and the area underneath it give a comprehensive combination of these metrics at each decision threshold, i.e. the probability cutoff for classifying an SMS as spam. We trained each model using different combinations of featureization approaches. We then conducted parameter searches for the parametric models Random Forest and SVM. Here we conclude the best performance of each model and their corresponding metrics and ROC curves. As shown by the AUC metric, the SVM model has the best ability to accurately separate spam from non-spam data. However, because we put a high priority on avoiding classifying actual non-spam messages as spam, we need to compare the ROC curves at a very low false positive rate. Again, we can see that SVM is the best model that has the highest true positive rate with a low false positive rate. This means that we can block most of the spam SMS while making sure that the true non-spam SMS can still get through to the recipient. Even as we approach a higher false positive rate, SVM is still a robust and performing model. Therefore, our final recommendations for building our spam filter are, first, featureize the data using a combination of customized pattern identification, unigram word terms, and TF-IDF weights. Second, remove any words that appear in less than 0.5% and more than 95% of the total set of SMS messages. Third, employ an SVM model to predict the probability of incoming SMS being spam. And finally, filter out messages with more than 98.1% probability of being spam to avoid falsely intercepting non-spam messages. Thank you.